Greetings everyone, Planet Mitch from LightRumors.co with a pretty interesting update for you from Light today. And I think it's going to be pretty significant for many of you. Here's their blog post on spot.light.co and the title is Your L16 Images Just Got Sharper, Can You See the Difference? If you scroll through the blog post, you will see that they have updated their three images that were full-size images. And we're going to dive into Lightroom in just a second because I have the original images. But you can see from their samples that there are some significant changes if you go look at that blog post. Here we are in Lightroom. And I have selected the two images of the gentleman from Cuba. The farmer, I guess he's a farmer. And we have the original on the left and the enhanced on the right. Now you will notice a couple of different things. Not only are they sharper, uh, we'll get into those details in just a second when we zoom in, but you can also see that the sky has a little bit more blue to it. Uh, I don't know exactly what kind of post-processing they have done, if any or whether this is just purely straight from the Lumen software. But uh, just seeing a bit of blueness in the sky is significant, I think. The two images here, when we zoom in, do show some significant improvements. If you look, for example, at the gentleman's cheek right along in here on the original image versus the new image, you can see some sharpness. At least I can on my 27-inch iMac. The changes are significant in, in the amount of detail that is visible along his cheek. Um, you can see up in his hat here, there is definite improvement in sharpness right through this entire zone. We also note that there is a little difference in the sh point of focus, maybe. Um... I remember looking at the original image at his mustache right through the left side of his mouth and on the original image that is fairly sharp and I notice on the new image that that is less sharp so maybe the point of focus has changed a little bit uh, between the two images it's kind of hard to tell or maybe they have expanded the depth of focus depth of field um, the eyes certainly are a little bit clearer in between the two images. And again, they're in the shadow areas. So the other aspect that was noted by many people, and let me turn off my uh, cursor pointer. Uh, there was some noise in the shadow areas here in the eyes. Uh, and I think there's a little bit of improvement in that noise area here as well in the new image. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time diving into the entirety of the image, but I do know that we had talked about the uh, shirt. And they specifically pointed it out in the blog post. So let's look down here at the shirt. This is 100% uh, zoom and we can definitely see some improvements. We had looked before at this line right here. Uh, in the newer image, that line is much less significant. And in this section here, there's a lot of good sharpness going on. And we had seen some fuzzy areas in through here uh, on the previous original image. Software improvements are appearing very cool, very nice improvements through this image. I remember seeing there was a little bit of a problem right through here, and I think that's still there. But realistically, if you're looking at this uh, image in a full zoom or non-zoom kind of thing, the, the back and forth between the two, uh, significant improvement in color, and the sky, of course, the obvious change here in the grass and the background 
color is different, so maybe they've impacted the white balance a little bit, uh, which is good, right? The horseshoe bend image, the left is the original and the right is new, and I, I turned on the information in Lightroom so that you could see the difference. And it's really hard to tell from just looking at a cursory aspect of it. Um, there appears to be a bit more sharpness up here in the background in this area. But we're not going to really see anything until we zoom in. So let's zoom in. Oops. Let's zoom in and hold position. What do you say? Looking at this island area, let's just pick this spot because that's what uh, Lightroom seems to show us. I'm seeing quite a bit of sharpness improvement here. This is good. In the water we see... It's hard to tell whether those are um, waves at all. Maybe the wind is blowing, but on the original image that's pure mush right through here. So assuming that this is valid data on the right. Uh, we're still seeing some blurriness on the edge and it's I think in fact right in this area we can see a very distinct line. Again if you remember from the original images light has said that there on some images due to the overlapping of the way they're processing the images from the different sensors uh, the outer edges can see some significant blurring and we saw that in the original image but it was really hard to see where that line sort of was uh, but in the new image if I look right here uh, you can see a very distinct line where on the right side it's blurry and on the left side it's very much sharper uh, so we're seeing sharpness improvements all through here, which is which is awesome. Let's just scoochie over a little bit and pick a different spot. Uh, let's look at these rocks here just for fun. I have not looked at this part of the image since I downloaded it. And you can see some significant improvements in sharpness through here compared to this one. Um... Let's do the back and forth and see if we can see it while we're zoomed in. Uh, looking at this group of rocks, I'm going to uh, turn off the focus so you can see the whole image and look at before and after. So this is the new image and this is the old one and you can see significant improvement all through this image, all through this whole section old and new. There's a lot of sharpness improvements here. Kudos to Light for the improvement in this image. I think the pixel peepers will be significantly happy with the result here. Let me see if I can drag this over there. That's eh, not perfect, but... So this is the new and this is the old. And you can certainly see vast improvements in the sharpness along here and the people that are here and in the water this is this is very nice kudos kudos there might be a problem right here uh, with the stitching i don't know it seems a little blurry right in this spot uh, but again pixel peepers might find those kind of issues and when you look at the image at this resolution, you're not going to be able to tell much difference. I mean, you can see some changes. All right, so let's look at the last one. This is the before and after the new Point Reyes shipwreck. Again, this is the same image. Uh, they have simply improved the software and reprocessed. And in this image, I can see uh, a change in the white balance. We'll 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 go back and forth. But let me just highlight this section over here. The white balance is, is different. And we will see significant improvements in the grass and in the details here. And one of the problems that we saw before was some what we thought was JPEG compression in the boat masts, front bow, whatever, whatever it's called. 
and that's gone. So let's let's zoom in. Before we here were looking at this, and they highlighted this in the blog post. Uh, there's some muckiness going on along in here in the original. And if you look at the new image, not only is it sharper, but that muckiness is gone. So kudos to light, especially right down in this section. Uh, I've got a loading. Come on, Lightroom, catch up with me. We saw problems over here with the look like kind of spider webs or something through there, JPEG compression issues. And there is something that is right here. Uh, there's a little blue speck there, but uh, maybe there is a spider web. But uh, overall, very nice, very good sharpness improvements. You can see in the um, paint peeling, I couldn't think of the word, paint peeling difference between the before and the after. Um, scrolling over here, again, we, we see the, there's a, there's less blue in this background area, in the hazy area. Uh, and of course, everybody was looking at the grass. There's a lot of fuzziness back here in the grass. And in the new image, there's, there is more sharpness. Is it perfect? No. I mean, if you look at the sprig of long grass right here, for example, uh, the image it is blurry. Uh, it was almost not visible here on the original, uh, but I can see that there's a little bit of blurriness issues. But if you look at the grass in the background area, uh, that is definitely sharper, improved grass. Um, down here in the water, there's, it's certainly much sharper along here. Uh, the other problems that we saw in this grass area... Uh, certainly much sharper, paints sharper here. Way to go, light. Improvement in this image is fantastic. And the other thing that I looked at was the um, light through the windows. Again, this, this seems to be bluish, whereas this is a little bit more proper white balanced color. Um, so let's look at both of them zoomed out. Zoomed out, doing a back and forth. This image is the original, and I don't know exactly why they're not perfectly aligned. This one is a hair smaller. But you can see what I was talking about in terms of the color here in the background. It's more true to what I suspect is valid white balance. Uh, you can see that in the boat, there's there's just less blue there, especially right through the windows, back and forth. You can see that the color balance is better. Even here in the dirt, looks more like dirt. This looks a little muddy and maybe a little green. Uh, so again, it's it's easy to see the sharpness difference. I don't know if you'll see it on uh, YouTube but the sharpness when you zoom in is much better and the overall colors are better. So in terms of a, an improvement in the software, uh, kudos. I've said that multiple times. This is, this is a very significant improvement in the software and it is awesome to be able to uh, go back to the original image and reprocess it in the new version of Lumen and get better sharpness. Now, if you'd already taken the image over to Lightroom or uh, Photoshop or some other photo processing program and made some improvements, then obviously those aren't gonna carry forwards, but regardless, the software improvements are significant. And by the way, I received my L16 today, this afternoon, and so I'm really excited to be able to start shooting with this camera. I did a live unboxing and we will be posting that on the website shortly. Uh, don't have the link for that right now, but um, come over to lightroomers.co and look for that 
75 minute long unboxing. Uh, we did we took the camera all the way through not only just unboxing but powering on doing a software update which apparently failed but luckily I had light uh, user support online in the chat room and they convinced me to uh, reboot that they have seen this problem happen before and simply rebooting solved that particular issue but thankfully they were online to help us and then we went through and took some photos and then transferred them over to the uh, computer and looked at them briefly in Lumen. So it was the entire cycle. And, and if you watch that video, I'm going to apologize right now because I had obviously never done it before. I had not worked with an Android uh, operating system device before. So I had to learn a couple of things along the way. So there's some embarrassing bits in there, but the key point of it is if you want to see the entire process, uh, watch that um, and see how cool it is. And I'll, I'll be doing some more videos like that as time goes forward, but I really wanted to get this out and show some of you pixel peepers uh, what a significant difference there is in the software since, I don't know, what was it, a month and a half ago that they published these images? So kudos, I'm, that's my favorite word today apparently, kudos to the software development team and the folks at Light for these improvements. We applaud you for that. Again, Planet Mitch from lightrumors.co. Come over, check us out, and we will connect with you again soon.